going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Cream or Access as we take you behind the scenes with yet again another stunning Lamborghini Huracan. Now you guys may recognise this car because it belongs to a very good friend of ours and biggest critic as well, uh, Buzz, second half of the duo of the Rocky and Buzz show. These guys are a pair of petrol heads in the UK that are very well recognised for uh, tuning and racing big power cars. We're not talking like middle of the league, we're talking about big, big power. Now, as you know, Buzz back in the day came to us with his uh, Nissan GTR, one of the most G powerful GTRs in the country, and he broke records with that car. Now that car used to rock our front wings back in the days, and now he finally recognizes and accepts after all this time, for that simple reason, his car went faster. Buzz finally recognizes that, yeah? So thank you very much, Buzz, and obviously, as you can see, he's behind, his car's behind me. Oh. Why am I just doing this in such a why can't I just fluently do this? I could never be a top gear fucking presenter, could I? Fucka, 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 fucka. <laughs> okay, so let's talk a little bit about the car. Now, this car is the most powerful Hurricane in Europe. So, for us, it's actually quite a big deal that, you know, he's brought the car to us to put our stamp on it. You know, it means a lot. Um, and Buzz wouldn't be doing that out of friendship. He'd only literally go to where he feels um, is the best for him, you know, uh, i.e., you can see that he's got a different body kit on the car, you know? It's tasteful, it looks really nice, but obviously, ours is obviously nicer. But you know, um, you know you've know, got to respect what he's done with the car, it looks, it looks good. Um, but he's come to have our bonnet and our front wings. And if you come around the back of the car, you can see that he's got a full uh, custom rear end of the car as well, with a custom exhaust system. Now, this has been done by our friends at GV Performance. As you can see, he's got carbon ducting on the front bumper, which looks really, really good, um, along with a carbon front lip. Again, that's not ours, but it still looks really cool. Um, and then moving on to the sides, he's got the carbon side skirts, which look really cool. Okay, so moving on to the rear spoiler in full carbon, along with a full carbon rear bumper. This car has been tuned by our friends at JM Imports um, with Boost Logic Turbos. These guys are our friends from, uh, from the States. Um, and as you can see, it's been finished off with a custom exhaust system from our friends at GV Performance. Absolutely fantastic job that they've done on the car, but I know Buzz and I know he's got that urge to go more power. So collectively, these guys have done a fantastic job on the car uh, to get it where it is, and it's our job now to finish it and be the icing on the cake. So, can't wait to get stuck into this car, really looking forward to it, and especially to see the numbers and figures that he makes, because as, as you know, we all know Buzz, he's obviously gonna be going for that mad figures at the end of it, and he's already started. If you look at his channel, The Rocky and Buzz Show, you'll see that they've got a new engine for it, and gearbox, I think, and stuff, so they're gonna be going crazy with it, no doubt. And uh, for us, it's just an absolute honor to be able to have our products on the best and most powerful hurricanes in the country. Peace out, guys. God bless. Love and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Lacquer both the wings. And if you're wondering why I'm lacquering wings that are only in primer, that's because there's a process to this madness in order to have the carbon exposed. I don't do this all the time, but when you've got mad clients like Buzz that want crazy shit and want to be different, then this is what you've got to do. So, what we've done is mask out the carbon, as you can see behind me. We fine lined it, uh, prepped it all, we sat in black all the areas that need satin blacking. Um, and then, in order to lose the edge of the satin black on the primer, we're then going to lacquer the entire lot in, so it seals the edge in, okay? Once that's sealed in, the entire wing will then be flattened in 1500 wet and dry, 
which will then lose the edge completely and then we can re-mask onto that and mask the carbon off, put the green on and then take the mask off again and lacquer it. So that's the process, that's what we're going to do and this is where it starts. straightforward a flip kit that just goes onto any car um, and fits straightforward it's not like that at all we have to take time in mounting finding the right position mounting the unit we have to recess the unit as well so you don't see the unit and it's hidden uh, and some cars don't actually even allow you to do that because of the way the front bumpers are actually built up and made up should I say but um, in this instance for the hurricane this is not the first one that we've done so we know how to do it um, so we kind of breeze through this one but again as I said it's, uh, it's a lot of work involved to do it we have to make brackets we got to systematically cut um, the bumper away, including the rear skeleton, to house the actual flip mechanism unit. And as you can see, if you come bring the camera closer, you can see where we've installed the unit, cut away all the necessary plastic as um, required, installed a nice solid bar ring with stainless steel nuts and bolts. So this is none. This is not going to rust. The bar is galvanized steel. It's not going to rust, um, and it's solid. It's actually put the strength back in at the same time where we've, uh, you know cut a lot of it out to house the actual unit um, and then lastly we're just going to cut and trim the actual mesh where the plates going to flip back because um, the mesh comes in the way and it actually touches it and stops it from flip flipping back uh, completely so once a new number plate comes we'll install that and just cut away a little bit more and uh, give it a nice bit of sanding as well to sort of finish it off give it a bit of finesse and uh, yeah ready to roll so put the loom right here and that's uh, all ready for Chris to plug in and install. Happy days. Yeah. 